Welcome to ADHD Whiskey, my name is Matt, and today I'm reviewing something I sold my left testicle for. Today, I'm reviewing <laughs> Michter's Celebration. The kind people who took the left testicle off of my hands, jokes on them, that's not even my good testicle. What they don't know is that I'm right testicled, and that was the one that they would have wanted. Just kidding though. I didn't sell my testicles. As a matter of fact, the people who let me sample this whiskey, they're a bit nuts. They let me take this box without them looking and they have no idea how much of it I'm gonna pour. But I would imagine that they'll definitely be checking. So this is 2023 Michter Celebration. This belongs to Julian Dan Like. It is what some people would consider to be a bit of a unicorn. It's a unicorn bottle, and I am here to tell you, you jealous son of a bitch, if it's any good or not. Let's get into this bottle, but before we do, let's talk about today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to us by our great friends over at Zbiotics. Zbiotics is the world's first ever probiotic pre alcohol drink. If you don't enjoy the way you feel the day after drinking, Zbiotics is here to solve that problem. Before you start drinking, all you gotta do is take one out of the box, you give it a good shake, and then you put it down the hatch. After that, you drink responsibly, you get a good night's sleep, try to stay hydrated, and the next morning, guess what? It's a good morning. Is Zbiotics magic? No. It's science, which is like magic in real life. And thanks to those scientists, your Sundays can be fun days, even if you had a fun night the night before. So go to zbiotics.com slash ADHD or scan this QR code on the screen. Use code ADHD at checkout and save yourself 15%. And one more thing, if you're not satisfied with Zbiotics, 100% money back guarantee. Thank you Zbiotics for sponsoring the video and thank you the viewers for supporting companies like Zbiotics who support the channel. This whiskey comes in what some doctologists would consider to be a safe or a casket because once the whiskey gets put into this red casket, it's where it goes to die. Because most of the time, these things never get opened. Not a single one of them. Unless, of course, you're Fred Minnick sending one to Ludacris. Or you're Dan or Julie Like. In which case, we've got one here, and this baby is open and ready to rock and roll. I would estimate this box to weigh between, hmm, 15 and 73 pounds. If you put it in front of your softbox lighting, it will literally eclipse your face because it's so big. It's got strappies on the sides with buttons, both sides in case you were wondering. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, nice. America. <laughs> Inside Jumbo Box is another big box. <clears throat> It's got a fun Michter's logo on the front of the box. You can see it. You can see it. It's right there. The box opens like this. Look at that. You can't afford that. This is way too much money for you. If you're watching this, you can't afford this. And that sucks to be you. Also sucks to be me, but not as much as you, because I can at least taste it, you broke bitch. As you can see, the whiskey in this box is uh, secured by what some loctologists would consider to be a bit of a lock right here. It's got a secret door, America, with a note in it. The note's got a wax stamp. Let's see what it says. Dear Matt, if you are reading this, you are dead. Shit. I'm honored that you have chosen this very special bottling of our Michter Celebration Sour Mash Whiskey. This 2022 edition. 2022? I thought it was 2023. Never mind. We're not reviewing it. It's shit. It's pure shit. Just kidding. We're gonna review it. This 2022 edition is the second release of Celebration during my time as Michter's Master Distiller and the fourth ever to this point. At Michter's Distillery, we strive for excellence in every drop of whiskey we release. And we feel a deep obligation to carry on the Michter's tradition dating back to 1753 by making the very best whiskey we can. While I love all of our whiskeys, 
I selected stocks from my personal favorite barrels that married beautifully to make this Mictor celebration sour mash. For this release, I sampled some of our special Kentucky sour mash whiskeys from barrels aged anywhere from over a decade to over 30 years. I selected whiskeys from seven barrels, three bourbon and four rye, that not only had achieved the perfect level of maturity, unlike me, but also complemented each other so that the final product would be even greater than the sum of its remarkable parts. Some people say I have remarkable parts. I hope you enjoy drinking this whiskey as much as I do. On behalf of all of us at Mictors, thank you so much for your support and your $6,000. Cheers and best wishes, Daniel McKee, Master Distiller, Mictors Distillery, Louisville, Kentucky. That right there is the chef's kiss. Put it back in its secret slot, close it up, and now we must release the beast. I did not ever do this, so I don't know how to do it. Um, oh, 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 there it is. <laughs> She's free. If you love it, set it free. Michter Celebration, Sour Mash Whiskey 2022 release. This son of a beast comes in at 112.8 proof. This is bottle 110 of 328. Only 328 of these bad boys were released to the market. How many of them will be opened? Probably not 328. I would imagine that this is probably in the 1% that will be opened. And if it's not in the 1%, it's probably in the 2%. And if it's not in the 2%, probably the 3% that will be opened. If it's not in the 3%, probably, probably the 4% that might be opened. This bottle is beautiful. It's rare sour mash whiskey from the personal stocks of master distiller Daniel McKee. Let's pour, swirl, nose, taste, and score 2022 Michter's Celebration. America, whoa, it came off of there like a friggin' bathroom door stall being slammed on someone's robot. A shang. The stopper looks like a projectile you could fire from a $6,000 cork is inside it. I almost knocked it over. That would have been a disaster. All right, let's pour it and recork it before anything goes wrong here. This bottle retails for what I believe to be around the same price as a brand new set of teeth inside of your horse by a very good horthothodologist. It's expensive. So let's just do a little pour. That's it, that's all we're doing. Wow, the smell of that coming out of that glass is ridiculous. Have I ever given a $6,000 whiskey a swirl job, a spin job, an SJ? No, I have not. Am I gonna do it today? No, I will not. Why is that? Because it will anger people, which is exactly why I was lying. And here we go. Just coating the glass. Coating the glass ever so nicely. Let's go for a nose of this. Friggin' Hank Hog of a Bourbon whiskey. Let's go in for a nose of this celebratory son of a bitch. <laughs> wow, that. That's. Dan and Julie were nice enough to open this with myself, Daniel Shook of the Bourbon Junkies, Ryan Elvez from Justin's House of Bourbon, and the ghost of Sean Paisley. We all enjoyed what I would imagine to be a couple ounces of this. So this is the second time I've tasted it, and the second time that my mind is blown off of my fat shoulders, cause good grief. It's the best smelling whiskey I've ever smelled in my life. It does remind me a little bit of King of Kentucky. It is just like a perfectly oaked, delicious melding and melting of all the best flavors and scents of the best whiskey you could ever imagine. It is like a caramel sundae that 
were in an oak cone and that oak cone were set on fire. So this is what some people would consider to be a burai. It's an American whiskey. It is a blend of super old bourbon and super old rye. You're getting the super oaky characteristics from both the bourbon and the rye. You're getting the sweet caramel, oaky, delicious brown sugar goodness that the bourbon provides. And then the rye is also on the nose with like a kick of mint. It's like a kick of mint gum. If you just smell it long enough, the rye really starts to come forward in this blend and it is tremendous. As a matter of fact, the more you smell it, the more rye you're getting over the bourbon. The rye kind of takes over the bourbon a little bit, just a little bit. It's a more of a rye dominant nose than it is a bourbon, but the sweetness of both are kind of combining into a rye bourbon pie. And that pie was made by a guy or woman like 30 years ago and it just sat on a shelf and by shelf I mean in a barrel and it's a tremendously tremendously good recipe let's go in for a taste of this Michter's celebration down the hatch Wow, that is a sticky, sticky situation. That, holy fudge, that is so good. It's hard to say anything is worth the price. It's hard to say anything is worth this amount of money when it comes to something that, a consumable, something that you drink. But as a shareable, you can't really put a price on what you would spend to share something with someone. And that is what we did the other night as we sat around and we opened this bottle and we shared it. I don't know how to put it. It's just like, I feel like when Dan and Julie opened this bottle and shared it with the group that there was no like second guessing about their purchase. It was just like living in the moment and really enjoying the time together that we spent. The name celebration is kind of exactly what this boils down to because this is the most magnificent whiskey I've ever tasted. It is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, don't even know where I was started or where I was headed, but it was somewhere good and I fudged it up. It tastes like a burai. It tastes like you're getting the bourbon up front and then the rye comes on the back and finishes with like a fresh breath of kind of minty air, but the finish on this whiskey is unlike anything. It sticks to every part of your mouth. I'm still tasting it. It feels like I have minty fresh breath, an oaky minty fresh breath. Like if I were to breathe on somebody, they would say that breath is what dreams are made of. If you covered up shit with really good dreams. Breath before this, terrible. Breath now, amazing. Oak, graham cracker, black cherry, pie filling. Then it leads into like an Andy's candy a little bit, a little bit of menthol. Still super sweet, a bit of spice on the back end, but it's almost like all of those flavors are in a concentrate. Just a drop of this whiskey on your tongue is enough to just fill everything in your face with the flavor of greatness. It is so damn good. Thank you, Dan and Julie like for sharing this with me, making one heck of a spring break, being amazing people who I absolutely love from the bottom of my heart. And then they allowed me to review this whiskey, just sitting here in their house, drinking something that costs more than my house. Maybe not, but pretty close. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for letting me review this. Mictor's Celebration, best whiskey I've ever had, receives a score of 9.9. .9. It's a 9.9. .9. Make your celebration 9.9. .9. It's a 9.9. .9. .9. Who knows, could there be something better in the future? Maybe. Maybe there possibly could be, but that's the highest score I've ever given, the highest score I probably will ever give. It's a 9.9. .9. It's friggin' ridiculous. It's absolutely bonkers off the friggin' hizzy shizzy. Man, that is uh, absolute batshit crazy whiskey. I know that 99.9% .9 of you who watch this video will never get to taste this, and I'm sorry, but when given the opportunity to try something this good and review it, you absolutely have to do it. It would be an insult to say no. And I'm gonna cry because they're so nice to me. They're so freaking good to me. Damn.
damn they good. Them friggin' likes. That's gonna do it for this Michter celebration review. And I would just like to take one second to change my underpants, because I peed them. It's just that good. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on having things that are just stupid because you only live once. And whether it's your personality or like, I don't know, a whiskey, just have some dumb shit in your life that you can laugh about and enjoy with friends.